Hey, what's up everybody? This is Raptor Dad Gaming. In this video, I'm going to do a very basic tutorial on how to utilize the mission editor in DCS. Let's get it started. So just above the campaign builder, we've got the mission editor function. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we'll click on create a new mission. From here on the left hand side, you have the maps that are available to you based upon the DLCs that you have purchased. And then for the countries, for the coalitions, these are your hostile and allied forces. We'll go with the default settings for now just to keep things easy we'll let that load in da, da, da. all right so we're here in nevada basic navigation to move around the map hold right click and move around as needed we're going to go ahead and take off from nellis so we're going to use our roller to zoom in on there to get the fine details that we need and let's go ahead and place and select an aircraft to fly so on the left hand side we've got our aircraft icon we'll select that you can select your nation as you need to if you want to add in hostile aircraft, which I'll get into here in just a little bit. So we'll leave it the default US for now. Click on the type. Notice some aircraft are yellow. Those are the ones that are flyable. We're going to click on the F-15 because there was a specific question I wanted to answer about it. And then let's go ahead and click on that. Once you place it, don't forget to set the skill to player. And that's the aircraft that you will be flying. Let's say you want to go ahead and add some wingmen in there. Go ahead and add in four. So you can click on of. And there you go. Uh, to add in waypoints, I'll go back on that because I just made one. I'll hit delete there. But to add a waypoint, so we've got turn point here selected. Let's just go ahead and click out into space. You can zoom out. And that's how you make waypoints. So let's say you want to do some night nav training. That's how you do it. I'm going to delete those because I don't need them for right now and I don't want to clutter up the map. So moving down from aircraft type, let's go ahead and select our payload. So the question I had was, how do you make an aircraft queen configuration? So for the F-15 and the other flaming cliff aircrafts, the SU-25, MiG-29, SU-27, and SU-33, they will show they have pylons, but as long as you select a payload that is empty, I promise you it'll be empty. So we'll just do basic guns, the standard loadout here. If you want to select your paint scheme, it's right here up top. So super basic stuff here. If you did want to add munitions, right click, and then you add it there applicably. So there you go. We've got our 120 showing magically somewhere around there, which it should be anyway. It's weird. It's not actually showing up. Huh. Interesting. So that might be a little glitch there for the Flaming Cliffs aircraft. But I'm going to go ahead and remove them for right now, just because we want to do a clean configuration. Um, now that's just for the flaming cliff aircraft. I call those out specifically because if you go to a higher fidelity model like the F-18 here, you'll see the pylons are there. We'll go ahead and right click and you have the option to remove the pylon and there it goes. It actually does go away. And let's also try adding a munition. You should be able to see it here just the same. So let's add a 120. There it is. So that might just be a glitch with the flaming cliff aircraft. Something to be aware of. And that's how you make it clean. You basically just go through and remove all those pylons. So let's go back to the F-15. Before I do that, I'll make mention uh, modded aircraft. So we got the Grinelli F-22 here. They also show with pylons, but again, as long as you select a payload that is clean, you will not have pylons on your wing. So let's go back to the F-15 and we'll go from there. All right. So next, let's look at our environment and time of day. We've got the clouds, you know, 2.7 bodies of clouds, and we really want to utilize those here, so let's do that. And I'm a sucker for sunsets. So let's make it nice and late in the evening. Let's go 18.30, 6.30 p.m. And we've got them broken six because I like those. And let's add in some hostile aircraft. So I mentioned that before. How do we go about doing that? Again, we'll click on the aircraft emblem. This time we're gonna change the country. Let's go Belarus. And let's go aircraft type. Let's make some Vipers. We'll put them right off the runway here. And let's say we wanna add in four again, just go ahead and hit that little greater than emblem there, our icon, and here you go, you got your four. Let's say we wanna change their task. We just want them to fly around and do nothing. That's how you do that here, right here, just below the nation. And let's say, if you click on it, you will add air points, uh, waypoints and different action points for them as well. So you can see that here. 
Another thing to note for our aircraft, I'm going to go ahead and click on ours. Oops, let me go back here and I need to select the aircraft icon again. Again, this thing can be a little cumbersome sometimes, so let's click the aircraft icon. I'm going to select another one, which I think just dropped a moment. Man, let me zoom in here. Yep, sure did. Let's get rid of that aircraft. I'm going to click on mine. There we go. All right. If you're finding that you're not selecting on the aircraft, it's because you just need to zoom in and be a little bit more precise with it like I did there. So let's say you want to start from the ramp and you want to start cold. Take off from ramp. There you go. And you'll be cold, which basically means that you are not running. But for the sake of time and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and start from the runway, which automatically starts us at hot. Basically running and ready to go. Um, for air to ground training, let's say you wanted to employ some Mavericks or laser guided munitions, etc. Go to ground units and then left click and there you go. You got the plus and minus key here to add units or subtract units as you want. And that is it for the basics of mission editors. Um, we'll go ahead and get airborne and go from there. We'll say yes. It will ask if you want to save it so you can build on it as you want to build more complex missions. So I've been shenaniganizing for a little bit, so we'll make it mission nine. And let's start. All right, so we are ready to go at Nellis. Let's go ahead and get airborne here with our four ship of eagles. Quick look around here, nice and clean. Get rid of our SRS here. All right, and we are airborne. So if we uh, take off and we fly straight here for a little bit, again, just to show you that we are clean. There we go. We got our wipers right there on the nose. You can kind of see them at a distance. And we should see the BTRs here in a little bit. There they go. All right, and that is the basics of the mission editor function. And there we go, BTR is firing at us, oh boy. <laughs> Fun times. If you found this video to be helpful, drop a like and subscribe and we'll definitely keep the content flowing. Rapid Dad Gaming out. Thanks for watching.